Okay, what's going on YouTube? I get asked this quite a bit. How do we mount our uh, bags, our heavy bags, whatever you want to call it. They're on a rail system. I'm going to go through all the details in this video to show you how to do it. Really convenient. You can move them I'll show you how to do it. All right. Okay, going up the ladder. I'm going to show you how the rail is attached. Okay, one second here. So, There's the rail right there. You can see it extends. I just basically screwed it to the bottom of these trusses right here. Now, you can mount yours differently, but whatever you do, make sure you're when you're screwing it up and, and putting it into something, tie into wood. Make sure you're not just drilling into drywall. You're gonna want a hit structure. So you might have to jump up in your garage or up in, you know, up in the attic or whatever. Just make sure that you're when you drill it in, you're, you're tying into some structure. So you want to make sure you're getting into some wood. Let's look underneath and kind of show you how I did that. Right there. So, see those screws? What I did, and you don't have to do this, but I went along and drilled holes, pre-drilled the holes, and then used wood screws and screwed each piece of the railing up. These Railings are five feet long, I believe, off of Amazon. You can also buy them from Home Depot or Lowe's in longer lengths. I want to say you can get them up to 10 feet long. That's up to you, however you want to do it. I bought everything off Amazon. I'll link some stuff in the description to give you guys an idea of what I used. Now, pull this one over. This little trolley here is also from Amazon. And you can see how it ties up in there, it's just got some bearings and just slides along. These are rated pretty pretty decently. I wanna say they're rated for a thousand pounds or something. The rails are extremely strong steel. Now, a couple of tips for you. When you're going to do all this, don't do what I did and mount the rails, have them all drilled up and mounted. Then I decided on a keeper system and I went and drilled all these keeper holes while they were mounted up high. Don't do that, trust me. You'll have metal shavings all over your gym. Uh, it's just not fun. It's not something I wanna recommend. So there's a mistake that I made. When you do it, make sure you pre-drill these first on the ground, then go mount them up top. And I'll show you how I pin and secure the trolley in a second. All right, so what keeps the bags from moving is a quarter inch pin like this, um, you can call it a split pin or whatever you want to call it, um, but that is going to be what's going to secure it. So I've actually drilled a hole through the trolley itself that matches the same holes on here. I'll try to see if I can secure it without, I got to switch hands, hang on a second. You simply line up your, your hole and then slide it through and then that's gonna go through to the other side now I have a light there so that's a bit of a pain but you get the idea there's the pin all the way through and that's what's holding the bag from moving around real simple now the downside to this is yes you have to get a ladder out every time you want to set your punching bags now there probably is a better way, but that's just what I came up with to do on mine. Here's another tip for you when you're mounting your bags. These little springs are about, I don't know, like 12 bucks off Amazon. They make a huge difference on vibration when you're hitting your bags. I put a spring on all three of the bags and I've never done that before. I kind of wasn't sure about it in my last setups that I've had, but those make a big difference. I highly recommend them. So if you can add that, definitely add it in. You won't be disappointed, especially for the price. It's well worth doing. So that's a basic overview of the rails. All of it is available on Amazon. 
I believe the brand is called Unitrack or Uni Unistrut, something like that. Um, works really good. Ours is, oh, it's at least 20 feet, probably like 25 feet long. That covers a good portion of the gym and it's just nice and handy when you wanna move your bags around. And I mean, they slide super, super easy too. You can see in two seconds here, I'll show you. We're storing them, just one arm. Move them out of the way. And that's it. So I hope that uh, kind of helps you get an idea on how we mounted the bags, give you a few tips and tricks there. There's the strut. It, by the way, it came in green. It's kind of weird. I never, uh, I never painted it. Probably could paint it black. I, they might come in black from Lowe's or Home Depot, but. The ones on Amazon came in green. It's just a nice nice finish on it. I didn't really feel like scuffing it and painting it, so I just left it. Honestly, you can't really tell with the lights on. It kind of looks like black anyway when it's up there. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's another tip for you. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you've got any questions on. Uh, I'll try to do my best to give you the answers. All right, thanks. See you.